Welcome to ideascripting.com and this first video in a series on how to use custom functions. In this video, I'm just going to walk you through how to access custom functions, uh, how to use them, and we'll create a very basic custom function. In subsequent videos, I will make them a bit more complicated, uh, showing you how to use the functions within the idea equation editor, and then go on and sh finally show you how to use uh, Visual Basics to create a custom function. To access a custom function, you have to do it through the equation editor. The easiest way, and, and in this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the sample detailed file, and I'm going to create a custom function that's going to recreate the sales before taxes and create a field that's the sales after taxes with the GST of 13%. So I'm just going to double click to bring up the field manipulation. I'm going to append, and I'm going to create a new field called sales plus GST. I'll save it as virtual numeric and two. So what this will ultimately do is it'll take the sales before taxes and add on a percentage such as the GST of 13% and give us the final total of the sales plus GST. I'll click on the parameters to bring up the equation editor. So within the equation editor, we have within the help a uh, listing for custom functions. Right now there's no plus buttons because there's no custom functions installed in uh, an idea right now. As I'll be adding custom functions, they'll be listed here and I'll be able to click on plus. So once I create my first custom function, this will change to a plus sign. So to create a custom function, I go up and I click on the number sign, which is a custom functions. This opens up a custom functions menu. You can change the location of my computer. If, it, if you're using the, the idea server version, you could access the server version to get custom functions here. Uh, from the right hand side, you can create a new one. You can import custom functions. Uh, there's several custom functions available on my website, and there's also custom functions available on the IDEA website that could be of use to you. So you may want to go browse them. I'll explain the other ones once we have a custom function created. Uh, so now I'm just going to click on new to create a new custom function. And maybe I should just step back, make sure that everybody knows what a custom function is. IDEA comes with about over 100 functions in total that you can use within the equation editor. Uh, they're grouped as character functions, numeric functions. They do different things such as getting left characters, mid characters, and so on. Now, the over 100 does a lot, but it doesn't do everything. And in some uh, places, you may be able to create your own custom function that will do something specific for your uh, different types of analysis. And as I'll be doing the different examples, we, you can see how different ones work. And they become quite simple, where basically we're just taking two fields and adding them together. Or they become quite complex in which we're using uh, Visual Basic to create a script that does something very specific. So again, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go click, click on the custom functions, and I click on new. And this one, I'm gonna call it Amount plus GST. Now you notice that as I was entering the function name, IDEA was creating the basic programming for the custom function. Now, first thing we have to do is we have to select an output type. In this instance, it's a numeric, but we have a choice of character and date. We can also add some help text. And basically we can say, this will take the amount and add on, on the applicable GST as the help text. So anybody reading it will give a better understanding of exactly what this custom function does. Next, we have to add the parameters. The parameters is where the information is coming from. So we can have you actually type in some numbers or it could be using fields. So in this example, if remember, we want to take the the basic the amount field and add on the GST. So the parameters, we want to have one parameter that will take the information from the field. So I'm going to change this to add one, not in use. So I'm going to be taking a numeric information. So this will be the amount field. And I can call this amount before GST. And I can add in another help te text like, like this is the amount prior 
to adding, sorry, adding GST. And I just want to use one parameter here. So I click on OK. So now we can see the number of parameters are one. We've added in the help. We have a test equation. So it allows us to actually test some information and make sure that the results are correct. And here, anybody who's looked at idea script language will realize that this is very much the same thing and pretty much is the same thing. So what we want to do here is just calculate the GST. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a line and, and how I return the information back to idea is I set the amount, the function name equal. So when I have the equal, this will be what we will be returning to idea, the information. In this instance, the amount plus the GST. And we'll say we want the amount before GST multiplied by 1.13. So we're, I'm assuming that the, the GST, or the, I should probably say the HST, is at 13%. And suppose I want to say, okay, what is $1? So I could put that in the parentheses. And I can go test it, and it returns 1.13, which is what I was expecting. Things I can do, I can validate the information to make sure the syntax is correct. So it says there's no errors, that's good. If there was an error, suppose I did a typo, and it didn't use this value, I could click on it again. And I'll say, oops, the value, value variable not defined amount before GST. So it's much the same as uh, idea scripting. Uh, next thing is I can save the function. I can cancel, print. You can do the cut, copy, paste, find, find, next, do the replace, undo, redo. You have access to the language browser, which I'll talk about more in a bit. Uh, you can do some debugging, you can toggle breaks, and so on. But we don't need to do any of those because this, this portion is so short. So once I want this, I'll make sure I click on save. Unfortunately, there's no escape button for uh, I edit function like the equation editor. So when you validate, you just validate it. So to get out of there, you have to actually click on the close button, which seems kind of strange, but that's the way it works. Then again here, and the same thing here, I click on the close button. Now you'll notice that custom functions is a plus. So now if I open it up, oh, it's got our name. And here, if we go, oh, it gives us some help. So basically it tells us the help, gives us a syntax and tells us the parameters. So these were exactly the information that we added in. So now if I take my, my, uh, my field and do the actual analysis, so the amount plus GST, to access the custom functions, I could just double click on it. Or like idea, the functions start with the at symbol. With custom functions, they start with the number symbol. So since we only have one here, I could select that. And then I'll select the field, sales before taxes. Then I'll click on validate and exit. And I'll click on OK. And I'll say yes. And there we go. We've created the new field, with uh, which is basically the sales taxes before taxes with the 13%. So you can see how quite easy it is. Uh, now I just want to make some changes to it. Suppose instead of saying 13%, I want to define the percentage. So I can just double click on here. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back and edit it. Now to go back and edit the uh, custom function, again, I'll just go to custom functions. I'll click on it. Now we can go click on edit. You can also see I can delete it. I can export it. Uh, if it's online, I can go get some help. You get the regular help from idea. But right now, I just want to do edit. So it brings me back. So suppose I want to add an, another parameter. And suppose I'll say it's another numeric. And I'm going to call this percentage. And I maybe I could say, say, uh, third, say something like enter 0.13413%. for 13%. And I'll click on OK. So now I've got percentage also. And you see percentage is, w, uh, is double. So doubles are the sort of default type with an idea that can handle all the large uh, numeric values. 
So what I'm going to do this, I'm going to just modify this a bit because now I want this to say one plus the percentage. So now if I enter in 13, it'll be one plus 0.13, 13. So again, I'm going to click the syntax, say that's okay. Save the function. And I'm going to get out of there. I'm going to get out of there now. So now if we go back to the custom function, uh, it's changed. Now we have two parameters. So I enter the another parameter and instead I'll say 10%, 0.10. And also you can see how the help works down here. Then I'm going to click on the equation editor, I'll click OK, say yes. And now you see the amounts have updated accordingly for the 10%. So you can see how custom functions can take uh, items that may take several lines or something very or several different variables and sort of put them together in the next uh, two videos i'll show you how to make a bit more complex ones thank you